This week on our Tips and Techniques video, I'm going to show you the shortcut to getting perfectly portioned pieces of clay. Stay tuned and see how easy it is. Alright, so first let's talk about why we might need to portion out our clay into equal pieces. If we're making, say, a batch of dollhouse cookies or going back to my farm stand that I made a couple years ago on this channel where I made like crates of apples and crates of pears and whatever, when I'm working in something like that I need a lot of pieces of clay that are the same size. And I don't want to have to slow down Say I'm making a bunch of dollhouse cookies. Maybe I'm going to make three dozen dollhouse chocolate chip cookies. I don't want to have to cut clay and make balls and measure each and every one of those pieces, but I need them to be pretty consistent in size because in 112 scale, any variation in size is blown up 12 times. And it, the smallest amount of difference can really show in the finished product. So what I do is I decide how big of a piece of clay I need and that's, you know, maybe make up one of what I want and roll the clay into a ball, then I measure that ball. So I need my clay, I need a way of rolling my clay out to a consistent thickness and I need a variety of clay cutting tools like we showed last week and I need my um, circle template. This is used a lot for making clay. So what I do, I roll my clay out. Let's say I need quarter inch balls of clay to make whatever project I'm making. And a lot of times when I give clay instructions or when other clay artists do, the tutorial will say you need quarter inch balls of clay or you need half inch balls or whatever you need. A lot of times it's even done that way by, for mixing clay. So I've rolled this out on my pasta machine. I'm going to cut it with this particular clay cutter. And I'm going to roll a ball. I'm going to make it as round as I can. It's a little warm in here, so my hands are really, really warm and the clay is really soft. So I am going to put this through my, my whole template here. And this is kind of, it's not quite 7 30 seconds of an inch, so it's not big enough. So I'll go to a bigger size. And the shape of your cutter makes no difference at all because we're just using it to cut our clay into a size. We're not cutting it into a shape. Alright, now I've got this one. And this one is, it's just a little bit bigger, than, well, it's, that one's right about at a quarter inch. Okay, so we know that this thickness will give us a quarter inch ball of clay. It's a very tight fit, but it fits. What if it would have been too small? What if I didn't have a cutter that big? Maybe I only had a cutter this size. Well, I could roll my clay thicker, or I could cut multiple ones. I can add them together. I can add together and say, okay, I need two balls that size to make what I need. Or maybe I'll have a combination where I need one like that and one like this. And believe it or not, this is much easier than trying to measure each and every ball of clay you make. So I can make balls like that. I could fold this over and make it double thickness. If I've got too much clay, I could roll this thinner. That's the beauty of having a collection of these cutters is you use them not only for cutting shapes, but for portioning out your clay. Use that in conjunction with rolling your clay out to an even thickness and then measuring with your circle template. So that's just a little bit on how you portion out clay to make your dollhouse miniature projects. I hope you found this useful. Be sure and check the blog post. Find me on Facebook and I'll talk to you later. Bye.